Hi A6, so it's Ali here, your prefect, and I'm really missing you a lot. I hope you're doing well during these tough times, but um, I realized that how difficult it must be for you to be put in high school into a new different type of system and now being taken out, not really knowing what to do in terms of work-wise maybe, or maybe struggling to get a routine going. So I've decided to give you some tips that I hope will be helpful on how to manage your homeschooling. So tip number one is to find yourself an area and a space where you can work in that you feel comfortable in, but not too comfortable, like maybe your bed and you feel like you want to watch a movie or fall asleep then, but just a place where you can work um, even outside on good days is great and um, a place where others can't disturb you and you will most likely not get distracted in. tip is about trying to write in your homework diary excuse my handwriting it's very messy but basically I just write out every subject the abbreviations and then I kind of write out like each thing that I have to do for each subject and I tick off as you can see I've done and I tick off as the things I've done or I like cross through if I don't have anything for that subject to do my third tip for you is to try and stick to your school timetable and obviously make the lessons shorter because you're not going to cope sitting by yourself um, like for 40 minutes doing a subject. Maybe break it up and have little breaks for yourself. But I do recommend maybe making your own routine. Like I've made my own routine regarding on the different types of work and subjects that I have to do each day. But trying to get a routine going really helps. <laughs> Tip number four is basically to go onto Google Classroom and to click on each subject um, like towards the end of the day. So at the beginning of the day and the end of the day, just to check um, what you need to do and to make sure that you are up to date on everything and that your tasks are handed in. Because sometimes these things just come through on um, Google Classroom and you just might forget it. Um, so yeah, just to really keep updated on Google Classroom. <laughs> Tip number five is to email a teacher or any of your teachers if you're struggling with um, the workload or if you have a question to ask. They really do have your best interests at heart and they want to help you. And they love getting emails um, because it shows that you're, you know, engaging in the work. So feel free to email them. I've emailed Minid Biedman and Miss Blackshaw. So even the scariest of teachers, like maybe Minid Biedman, you might think, um, they are humans too and they honestly will get back to you and they have your best interest at heart, especially with regards to learning. <laughs> Tip number six is to relax. Um, my relaxing is having some tea. I love tea. So relax, take a break, just do something that just makes you really relax because we all are in this difficult time together. And um, yeah, just realize that this isn't how we usually learn, but it's important to try and to try to stay up to date, but also don't be so hard on yourself. And the last tip is tip number seven is to just message me or Miss Tame or any support system at um, Rustenburg as we have a lot. If you want to talk to anyone or if you have any issues with workload or work and you want some more tips and you have any questions, just feel free to ask. I hope you enjoy this video and I also hope you realize that all of these tips are very adaptable to yourself and it's just some of the things that I find very helpful. You don't have to do all of them, it's just to help you a little bit. Lots of love!
Don't forget to subscribe down below and give it a thumbs up. I'm back like I never left. I never left. I never Tip number. Bleh. Tip number six is basically to Ellie. Jake <coughs> remember to take a break and to always 